So it appears I may have made a slight error in terms of this gun range map. Yeah, you guys remember this map from yesterday. I ended up bashing it for the, the sole purpose that this was uploaded to the public. But the, the gun testing should be done privately. I still stand by that in a way, but the thing that I'm going to have to apologize for is giving it a downvote because it might actually be a scenery type map as opposed to being an actual map. And generally I, I end up leaving sceneries alone because uh, I, I, there, there are some maps that, have, that are fool arounds and I understand that, but uh, we'll go, we're going to go into it before I do any more comments. We're going to look at it. Journey. I'm not, probably not going to show all of it off. I'm only going to show certain parts of it off. One of the things that people don't really like to see in maps is wide open areas when, like, you know, empty areas. Uh, unfortunately, filling stuff up with copy-paste trees is, n is not a good cover-up. It is for the average player that does not play this game, but for the veteran players, they immediately know that you're out of ideas when you start placing down copy-pasted trees everywhere or to just use it to fill in a landscape. They will know instantly and so they are not fooled by it uh, my advice is really to just put up an actual wall uh, prevent players from being able to see the outside anyway that's the first bit there uh, you're gonna have to excuse my criticism nature it just instantly activates oh they have an out of bounds here well I still say you should use an actual wall anyway let's go to the good white why is my out of bounds not disappearing uh, okay that was weird Apparently, there's an out-of-bounds set on that part of the map. <laughs> uh, what an awkward out-of-bounds spot. I mean, it's right here, but yet I am in the map, aren't I? Am I? What? I don't get it. Ugh, whatever, let's see what's inside this house. We'll go inside this home. Um, nothing's here yet, it just seems to be... Oh, it's set up like a real gun range. Okay, this does look pretty neat. Oh, I didn't know you could have shoes. I didn't know you could put shoes down as part of the background. Hi, dude. I'm just testing my gun. I hope you don't mind. So they, okay, they put every single weapon out here. This looks pretty neat. They put almost every weapon, I think. Maybe there is every weapon. I don't know. Let me see if I can find the Lost on Mars weapons. That, that'll basically confirm if they have every weapon on here. Oh. Oh, they got every weapon that's not DLC. That's good enough. Every weapon that isn't part of the DLC. I spoke with the creator and this was in t uh, set up to be a way to actually test your guns, you know, shoot the targets and sort of deal. And that was their whole intention of this map. And yeah, I can now verify that you, this is a scenery type map. Uh, there's not really any way to die unless you intentionally try to kill yourself. You can blow yourself up, obviously, but there's no enemies coming after you, so I, it's therefore a scenery map. So it's not really intended to be any actual combat. My downvote should, if I could erase that, I would take that off and just leave it as a no vote if, if I could. I wouldn't, there's no way I'm uploading a map that has so many empty areas around and a conf very confusing out of bounds spot that's right there. Um, and I, I'm, I'm at personally, I prefer an actual map where you can actually die, but uh, with that aside, there's still a lot of, quite a bit of criticisms that can be slapped onto this map. The first big one is people want an actual target to shoot, you know, like an enemy, so why not just have set it up like a, a controlled zone enemy, you know, an enemy that doesn't move from their spot, turn on invincible, and then they can just test out the weapons that way. If you want an enemy that's a bullet sponge, you could try a zombie yeti. Or you could end up using an actual human. You end up fighting more humans than you do any other enemy in this game. So why not have like Jacob or Joseph or just an ordinary human person. That way they can test the target. Uh, that's the first big one. The second big one would be... My DLC weapons are here! Actually, no, that's not the criticism, because some people don't have the DLC. Oh, wait a minute, there is a DLC weapon! This this rifle here is a DLC weapon, so... Yeah, they're missing the Lost on Mars weapons now. Now I can put slap that judgment down. There's no Lost on Mars weapons here. Okay, so there's that one. The third one, 
obviously would be actually there is no third one that's the those those are the really big ones people uh, having an actual target would be better i don't think anyone's actually going to be using these anyway just thought i'd put this video out there because i made a mistake i should not have downvoted this map if i could change the downvote i would i just leave it as a no vote but yeah there you go all I have to say about it. Oh, hey, what do you know? I can leave it as a no vote now because the creator took it down and put it back up. Kill. Annihilate. Overwork.